So this is one of your classic examples of calculating net present value for a product or an investment or a project, right? So this is gonna be very representative of what you could see on the exam. And what we need to remember about net present value is that it's a simple formula as long as we understand what we need to calculate. So as you can see, really we just need to take the present value of future cash flows. Now these future cash flows can be annually cash flows, they can be a lump sum in the future, could be a combination of both, but that will be the future cash flows that we need to apply a present value factor to. And then we're gonna subtract the upfront investment. And that is the investment we need to make today. And there's typically no present value factor applied because that investment represents the cash that's going out the door today. And what we get to is a net present value. And just in general, when it comes to whether a company should accept or reject a project, well, if the net present value is greater than zero, meaning it's a positive number, then the project would generally be accepted because it's gonna have a positive return. If it's less than zero, we should reject it. So let's dive in to the calculations here. So the first sentence tells us that there's an initial outlay of $20,000. Now that's gonna be the upfront investment. As I mentioned, we don't need to apply a present value factor there. But what we will need to do is figure out what the net present value of the annual cash flows will be. It tells us it's 4,000 a year, for the next six years. Now the next sentence tells us something very important and that says that payment will be received at the end of each year. So you need to understand that there's a difference between an ordinary annuity and an annuity due. An ordinary annuity means the cash is received at the end of the year. If it was at the beginning of the year, that would be an annuity due. Now the question may not always give you both options, but in this case it does, right? And we need to understand the difference. Otherwise, we're gonna choose the wrong present value factor. So now that we know we're gonna receive $4,000 a year at the end of each year, then we know we should choose the present value of an ordinary annuity of $1 per period for six periods. That is what we need, right? And that is 4.62288. So in our step one, we're gonna take that annual cash flow of 4,000 and multiply by the present value factor of 4.62288. And that gives us a net present value of cash inflows of 18,491.52. So now that we have the net present value of future cash flows, well, we just need to subtract the upfront investment. So this is our step two. So we'll take that 18,491.52, subtract the initial investment of 20,000, and guess what? This is actually going to be a negative number of 1,508.48 cents. So that's gonna be the correct answer. Now, if it asks us, should they accept or reject the project? Well, who wants to accept a project that's gonna return negative amount of value, right? So we would reject this project, but it doesn't ask us that, it just asks us, for the net present value, we already figured that out. It's 1,508.48, and that's a negative number.